Welcome to Cosmetic Networks Live, where we explore the aesthetic and the cosmetic industry from the inside out. Hi, I'm your host, Sheila Maitland, and this is episode 39 for Friday, October 18th, 2013. We have a very special guest today, Dr. Brent Mulliken. Welcome, Dr. Mulliken. Well, it's great to be here. We're so glad you're here. Dr. Mulliken is a double board certified plastic and reconstruction surgeon in Beverly Hills and Santa Monica. And you are Harvard trained, Yale and UCLA trained. And those are some really great credentials, doctor. Yes, uh, it's actually Beverly Hills and Santa Barbara. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you for correcting us on that. No worries, no worries. They're both beautiful places. Oh my goodness, absolutely. Beautiful, for sure. Tell me a little bit about your story. What inspired you to be a plastic surgeon? Well, I actually didn't start out in plastic surgery. I wanted to be a cardiac surgeon like Denton Cooley and Michael DeBakey, who traveled the world with with famous actresses, and they were so glamorous, and they did this amazing work on babies' hearts, and they literally brought them back from the dead. And I thought, what could be better than to be a cardiac surgeon? So I started to do cardiac surgery. And it was very different than, than what I had imagined. It was very serious. I mean, people die in cardiac surgery, and not infrequently when you're dealing with the worst cases. So I wasn't set up for that. I'm just not set up for that. So the other field that really interested me was plastic surgery, particularly microsurgery, or, you know, where you take one part of the body and you literally transplant it with a little artery and a little vein to another part of the body, and it comes to life, and it reconstructs a cancer or some deformity. Um, So that was very, very new, microsurgery, and I loved it. And that is why I'm in plastic surgery today. Wow, that is a great story. And I love watching and looking back at the paths of our lives and how we end up where we are. And that's such a a great line. Um, Let's talk a little bit about your hobbies. And um, you like historic homes from back in the 1920s. And you're really attracted to famous architects and you restore these homes, is that correct? That's correct. I love old homes from the 20s. I think it was a golden period in architecture, and they really built homes to last then and to last architecturally. Um, so, you know, we, we actually, you know, buy homes and we restore them, and sometimes we live in them and sometimes we sell them, um, but we restore them to the way they were back in the 20s. Oh, wow. That is really exciting. I'd like to see some of those. Um, I want to talk, touch also on you being an avid Rolex watch collector. Is it just Rolexes that you collect, or do you collect multiple t- styles and brands of watches? You know, I really like old Rolex watches. They're, they're really well built, but there's a story behind each Rolex watch. And you see a Rolex watch that's 50 or 60 years old, and it doesn't really look that different from the ones today but it has a story to tell. Sometimes they were in the military. We have watches that were actually in the British Special Boat Service that, were, that served in the Falkland Islands. You know, military watches, they look almost identical, but there are these tiny details that the collectors obsess over, and I guess I'm one of those. Wow, that's, that is really neat. I did not know that, and I do like Rolex watches also, so I'm going to be a little bit more aware when I look at some of the older models. Um, you know, you have a passion, I know, in the aspect of a charity, and you have a, a charity called About Face Surgical Foundation. Is that right? That is. I have my own 501c3 charity, and we, we help out victims of you know, natural disasters or domestic abuse or just victims of crimes who otherwise could not afford to have the reconstruction, usually of their faces, but also other parts of their body. So that's what I do. That's my charity work. You know, I also work at the VA and help the veterans. You know, I've been doing that for many years. But this is really my passion, the About Face Surgical Foundation. Wow. I think that is awesome. Um, you know, whenever you have such a great gift like you have been given, and to be able to share it with those in need, it's just, um, you know, it doesn't get any better than that, I'll tell you. Well, it's, it's, it's interesting. I can take three or four hours of my time, which isn't that precious, and change somebody's life. So if I can do that, you know, periodically, then it's a wonderful thing. 